It's just hours before this year's Armed Forces Remembrance Day, a day set aside to celebrate the courage, patriotism and sacrifice of men of the armed forces, some of whom had to pay the ultimate price to keep the country together as one. But before the guns start to boom in salute of the courage of these men, there are church services to thank God for the lives of those still living and show support for the families of those who have fallen. In Rivers State, it's a service of songs and dance, just as the governor, Yeson Wiki, calls for support for the families left behind by the fallen heroes. If somebody will die because of defending you, because of protecting you, not protecting himself, he laid his life for you and for I, for me, to be here today. That is why we have set aside every January 15th as Armed Forces Remembrance Day. It's a service of dance in Imo State where Governor Rochas Okorocha lords of a sacrifice of the heroes. They went there to fight, not for their children to go to school. They were fighting not for their wives to wear any clothes. They were fighting to defend the territorial integrity of Nigeria. So if people try to exist by an exit from a nation, they should be armed. So please, men of the armed forces, accept. The vicar of the Holy Ghost Cathedral, where the governor of Enugu State, Ifanyo Gwangi, joins other Christian faithful, wants leaders at all levels to do more listening than talking. In Nigeria, I'm sorry to say, we have taken the vocation of how to talk to one another. Everybody talks. Everybody talks. And no one wants to listen. I need a position where I can talk, others listen. In Niger State, former military head of state General Ibrahim Babangida warns politicians against divisive statements, adding, quote, as a people, we should inculcate our cultural values that promote good conduct, tolerance, and peaceful coexistence. We should eschew hate speech, discrimination, and other vices that trigger senseless violence and bloodshed. End of quote. In Anambra State, Governor Willie Obiano commends the efforts of security personnel, both living and fallen, in the protection of the country's territorial integrity. As the country remembers the national heroes on Monday, especially those who have fallen, the call continues for everyone to grow their love for the country rather than for a section of the whole.